Hey y'all, my name is Destiny Ragsdale. I am 25 years old and I was born and raised here in Ellaville, Georgia. I am a sophomore at GSW. However, this is my first semester attending. I have a three-year-old little boy, Camden Ragsdale, and I have been married for going on to four years to Ryan Ragsdale. And the two articles posted, one by NPR and the other by CNN, both give out the main information that being Mike Pence is being subpoenaed to court in reference to this special investigation for former President Donald Trump. Both articles also briefly discuss the fact that former President Trump is attempting to use executive power to block this subpoena. One article does not go into much detail about what executive power is, while the other does somewhat explain what the executive power theory is. Although it is not written anywhere, it is somewhat implied. With these articles being freshly published and not a lot of information presented, the media could absolutely run with these stories and twist them to fit their agenda any shape and way possible. The media almost never has all of the information and they can twist a story to fit whatever narrative that they are wanting. They can take one story and completely misrepresent most of anything. They will take a story and warp it to the viewers that they do have. The media now more than ever can reach more viewers extremely fast, which also reaches a younger generation because not all 18 year olds are going to pick up the New York Times to catch up on certain events that are happening in our world and also around us. It also does not take the news days to hit the press it is almost instantly with this all it takes is a journalist to hear a rumor of something that is going on and they can use the media bias to create their own version of that event if it is nowhere near the actual truth by the time the whole article comes out most people are already believing the first thing that they had read so anything else after that it looks like the media is trying to twist the original story and that they are lying I am a Republican, but I do not jump to conclusions. I like to do my own research before I form my own opinions. It blows my mind that the lengths that mainstream media will go just to be able to make a name for themselves. This is a major reason why I'm so passionate about the elections. But it also does make it hard to be able to make an educated decision about voting for one person when there are so many different lies about that person and the things that they do stand for. In today's politics, you don't even know what is a true thing about them and what is a lie about them, which makes it almost impossible to vote for the person you feel is right for the job. Now, it's mainly you either vote Republican or Democrat, and it does not matter what either party is proposing or what they are wanting to do because both parties are going to have dirt thrown on them any and every way possible, and this happens through the media.